Here's a question you need to know for step one. If you've got a guy who's been experiencing some shortness of breath and non-productive cough for the last two weeks, here are his vitals and lab values. Look at that DLCO. In fact, it seems like the FEV1 and the FEC are both low. Looking at his question stem, he's a 45-year-old man presenting with a two-week history of shortness of breath. He has a 20-pack year smoking history. He's got bilateral infiltrates, and we have a restricted pattern, nice of them to say, with a decreased diffusing capacity for carbon monoxide. Now, that's likely due to a wall thickening, and the most common idiopathic interstitial pneumonia is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Regarding the attending tip, a couple of things to look out for are the bilateral crackles in the lung bases. You'll hear those crackles anytime you have a fibrotic lung disease. It's like dry Velcro sounds. The bilateral interstitial infiltrates also suggest that it's an interstitial lung disease, not an obstructive. Of course, the DLCO being low is a hallmark of IPF or a fibrosing disease, and that non-productive cough and progressive dyspnea also fits IPF. So we'll need to know this graph right here. Above this line is the vital capacity, and below is the residual volume. And of course, all of this is the total lung capacity. So in this question, it wasn't asthma, because that would have elevated DLCO because of the airway inflammation. It's not COPD, that's another obstructive, though you'd have increased lung volumes, and it's not a pulmonary embolism, that's more of an acute onset, whereas this is more chronic, and it's not bronchiectasis because that would have a productive cough. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe.